And then we go out onto the sea, onto the surface of the sea where Jesus taught some of his greatest lessons to the disciples, where Jesus um, brought some of his greatest miracles uh, performed here on the Sea of Galilee, which we go out in a boat, if we have a group small enough, a boat the size that Jesus would have used. Uh, just for reference, if you look back, this is from the sea. If you look at where that uh, cute little red arrow is, that is Mount Arbel, where I started. That's the lookout point, the overview point. So from there, we get a bird's eye view of all this ministry area of the coast. And now from the Sea of Galilee, the, the surface of the lake, you can see back to our bell. And so two times that Jesus really, really moved on his disciples here. The first time was a fear transfer. Have you ever had a fear transfer? Jesus put his disciples in the boat in Luke chapter 8, and he created an opportunity for a fear transfer. Here's what happened. They transferred their fear from the storm to the one who can calm the storm right? Listen, as I read Luke chapter 8, starting in verse 23, it says, soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water, and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, master, master, we're going to drown. That's their faith. We're going to drown. When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and the raging waves. Peace, be still. Suddenly the storm, storm stopped and all was calm. Then he asked them, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Is your faith in the storm that you see or in the creator of the heavens and earth that is with you in the boat? Where is your faith? And then verse 25 says, the disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man, they asked each other, that even the wind and the waves obey him? We need a fear transfer. In John chapter 6, after feeding the 5,000, Jesus sent the disciples out on the Sea of Galilee, and again, the storm came up. And this time, listen please, this time Jesus used the storm as pavement for his feet to reach the disciples in a way that he could never reach them under calm seas. You understand what I'm saying, right? Jesus still today uses the storms of life to reach his disciples in a way that he could never reach us under calm seas. The storm was created by Jesus, I'm sorry to tell you. He sent the disciples into the boat so he could reach them at that critical time so their faith would be significantly elevated to say the least. After